Hello, Shandor. Hello, darling. It's wonderful to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. But what are you doing here? Oh, isn't that a lovely greeting? What are you doing here? Well, I only meant that I was under the impression you'd be working all evening. Well, yes, but I thought that I might stop by to say hello. Well, hello. Yes, hello. But I think I also came to talk to you about something else, something very important. Oh? Yes, but first I really must call the month. I told them I'd only be out of the office for a few hours, but now I... I think I might need to stay here the rest of the evening. May I use your telephone? Oh, stay here the rest of the evening? But why? May I? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> but what seems to be the problem? Well, maybe it's nothing. It's just this, this art thief that's been running around causing so much trouble. What's his name? The, the, the ghost or the spirit the or phantom? something? Yes, yeah, that's right. I'm afraid that he'll strike here next. Here? But why? The Kovacs. He wants it. How do you know that? Well, uh, hello, Margot. It's Shondor. Uh, be a dear for me and go fetch Lamont. Thank you. Well, it's been in all the newspapers. He's already taken two of them, and that one will make a third. You know, it's, a, it's a complete set. He's sure to come for it. Yes, but what makes you think he'll come tonight? Like, he always strikes on the night of the full moon. It's his modus operandi, or whatever it's called. It makes it easier to trek across rooftops. Have you looked outside this evening? Yeah, it's best that I stay here, just in case. Oh, don't you think you're overreacting just a little? Yes! Lamont, it's Shondor. Listen, old boy, I was wondering if it might be all right if I spent the rest of the... Well, yes, but listen, I have some... Oh, I see. Well, surely you can handle that without me, I... Oh, what do you say? Hmm. Well, I, uh... I'll see you in 15 minutes. Ciao. 
terribly sorry, Kate, but it seems that I can't stay tonight at all. In fact, I have to leave right away. What for? I uh, will end this emergency meeting, darling. Oh, I really am sorry, Kate. I'll be back to check on you as soon as I can. Hold on a minute. Yeah, hold on to this. If anything should happen... Shondo, you know I don't like that gun in the house! Yes, darling, I know. I'm sorry, but please humor me. All right. Do you remember how to use it? Good girl. <laughs> don't let the gun out of your sight, and remember, shoot first, ask questions later. Ciao, darling. Find what you were looking for? Not quite. Turn around. Put your hands in the air. Move slowly. I was captain of the shooting team at Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence has a shooting team? Sit down. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Catherine Crosby, but you may call me Kate. And you are? Jerry Lewis. You are not. Dean Martin, then. You knew I was coming. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Perhaps I simply happen to be a very fortunate woman. Perhaps nothing. You left the window open. That wasn't fortune, that was strategy. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Perhaps we quit playing these games. I didn't come here to chat over a nightcap. Oh, how thoughtless of me. Would you like a nightcap? Excuse me? A nightcap. Would you like one? Of course you would. Who wouldn't? Criminals enjoy beverages too. I... Oh, <laughs> well. Perhaps you'd better serve the drinks. That's it. You pour the drinks. I'll talk. Marvelous. You came for one of my paintings, am I correct? Well... Of course you did. You're the Phantom. That's your modus operandi, or whatever it's called. Well, what uh... I'm offering is a trade. I'll give you my painting in exchange for one simple thing. Which is? We sit down on this couch and you give me an interview. I'm writing a novel about cat burglars and I want my story to be as authentic as possible. I want you to tell me everything. About your life as a criminal, a ruffian, and a man of danger. Okay. How about this? Since I'm a criminal, a ruffian, and a very dangerous man... Man of danger. Man of danger, yes. Since I'm all of those things... How about I just take the painting and forget the interview entirely? Well, I suppose you could. But then I would be forced to call the police. You are the one holding the gun. So I am. Well then, let's start with something easy. Are you single or in a relationship? Why, are you interested? Now that's not what I meant. Of course not. No, really, I only meant that- No, I'm not married. Nor courting anyone at the moment. And why's that? Well, I suppose no woman will put up with my habit. Of stealing art? Of collecting stamps. <laughs> I'd like to see this stamp collection. As would I. Listen, would you mind being a dear and putting on some music? By all means, help yourself. Me? Who else? You're the hostess. I've already poured the beverages. Besides, it's bad form having your guests do everything. It's also bad form breaking into someone else's house. Not as bad as leaving the window open to a burglar you knew was coming. You know, I've always wondered if burglars have sufficient taste to enjoy what they steal, or if they're just in it for the money. Or the thrill. Or the thrill. Is that why you do it? I'm afraid this interview has been cancelled until further notice. Please give me the painting, and then you'll never see me again. 
Kate, none of that. I just, I want the painting. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you. Don't touch me. All right, I'm sorry. Have a seat, ruffian. For heaven's sake. Now no more nonsense, understand? What's so important about these paintings? Tell me what you know about them. I know they were painted in the 1930s by a man named Kovac. He was Yugoslavian. Hungarian. Hungarian, of course. In 1944, when the Nazis invaded Hungary, they destroyed all of the Kovac paintings except for three. Laszlo wouldn't give them up, so they threw him in the Danube River and drowned him. I should have been there. I was in London at the time. You see, Laszlo Kovacs was my father. When I heard the paintings had been found, I... I had to have them. That isn't quite the story I was expecting. My father died fighting the Nazis. Well, actually, he survived the war and was ready to come home. But at the last minute, he was assigned to stay a week longer to guard German prisoners. Killed in his sleep, with a pillow. Did he give you that? He gave it to me when I was 10. It's beautiful. Shandor doesn't think so. Who? Shandor. Shandor? Who is Shandor? Oh, well, he's a man I'm seeing. I see. Does that bother you? It should bother you. A man that can't appreciate such a beautiful necklace must be a terrible man with terrible taste. Except, of course, in women. My. Well, aren't you the sly one? Like a fox. Listen, I think this Shandor is no good for you. I think I detect a hint of jealousy. You don't even know Shandor. He's- A tall, thin European man with a small wristwatch and glasses? <sighs> yes, as a matter of fact. How did you know that? We've crossed paths. You have? Yes, as a matter of fact. In fact, I wonder how well you think you know this Shandor. What are you saying? He's a thief, Kate. We've been rivals for years. He's been playing you. What? The two of you met at the auction for the Kovac painting. I know this because my friend Rafa was there to mark the buyer. He saw Shandor schmoozing with a beautiful young woman who I can only assume was What are you, you talking about? I... He said I was beautiful. Kate, was that you at the auction? Well, yes it was, but that I thought doesn't... so. Listen, Shandor's using you and this painting as a trap for me. Where is he? Now wait just a minute. That's his gun, isn't it? He told you to shoot me and not ask any questions? You would have killed the phantom? You don't know what you're talking about. I want you out of here before... I'm going with the gun. You've got to hide. Kate? What's going on? Shandor, what are you doing here? I just dropped Lamont off at his hotel. What were you doing? Polishing some furniture. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, not at all. What could be wrong? You're wearing a dress at this time of night, and you're behaving rather strangely. Am I? Yes, Kate, and I think you know it. What's going on? Did you come to rescue me from the Phantom? What? Have you come to rescue me from the Phantom? Is he here? Kate, has he been here? Yes. And he told me everything. Everything? He told me about how you were rivals. About how you're using me to get to him. And you believed him? You ignore my warning and yet you heed a complete strangers. Tell me this. Are you so trustworthy? What has he done with the paintings?
He stole the Kovach. Or did you give it to him? Well, I suppose I'll just have to telephone the police and let them know that the elusive phantom has struck again. I'm afraid you can, darling. The line's already been cut. And who would want to do that? You should have killed him, Kate. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here! <laughs> I'm thrilled! You got your foot stuck in the door again, eh? The police are coming, Shondor. You better back off. <laughs> you forget how many times we played cards together at Monte Carlo. You never could fuck. <laughs> So simple. Oh, officer, I can promise you she only shot in self-defense. Is it really necessary that you take her away? Yes, sir, I'm afraid it is. Oh, officer, is there anything that can be done to alleviate her punishment? No, sir, I'm afraid not. Oh, no, no, no. We can still make this story good, can't we? Oh, officer, I came home and they were both dead. Oh, no. If only I could have been here. If only I could have protected her. Oh no! It's okay, sir. These things do happen. Yes, they do, don't they? Wait. Shondor, let her go. I'll give you the paintings. I keep them close by. Just please let her go. Your father's paintings. Done. Bring them to me. <laughs> You're a bastard. <laughs> well, if I kill him, his body rots in a casket. But if I take his father's paintings, his soul does. I think I like the trade-off. It's been a great displeasure, as always. Likewise, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we'll meet again. Kate, ciao. Are you all right? I was, but I... Give it a minute. house and had them phone the cavalry. But what about your paintings? And prison? You'll be arrested along with Shondor. Miss Crosby, this is the police. We'd like to have a word with you. 
Wait for me in the sitting room. Bye bye. Isn't it wonderful? What's that? Well... It seems the police have finally caught the extraordinary phantom. My, my, aren't you the sly one? Like a fox. But how are you holding up? I've been better. And worse. When I get that painting back, it's all yours. At least you'll have one of them. Oh, I'll get them back. It'll just take some time. Say, why don't you help me? I could teach you the tricks of my fine trade and you'd be able to write your book from first-hand experience. You want me to become a dashing cat burglar like yourself? Why not? Well, you are a criminal and a ruffian and... and a very dangerous man? Man of danger. Man of danger. Perhaps I'm just a very fortunate cat burglar. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps.